Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the central angle and arcs. So let us define what is a central angle of a circle. Central angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle. So if we have here a circle and we have a center at point E, a central angle separates a circle into two arcs called the major arc and the minor arc. So we have here the smaller arc. This is what we call the minor arc. And the bigger arc is what we call the major Arc. Okay. Again, a central angle, in this case, our central angle is CEF. It separates the minor arc and the major arc. So again, let us write our central angle in this illustration is angle CEF. This is our central angle. In naming a central angle, so our point or the center must be on the middle. So C E F. Do not name it as E C F. That is not an angle anymore. So again, angle C E F. Take note the degree measure of a minor arc is equal to the measure of the central angle. So, the measure of angle CEF is equal to the measure of the minor arc CF. And our symbol for the arc is this one. Okay. So, let us name the different arcs here, the minor arc, let us name CF. The minor arc, that is the CF. And the major arc, that is the CGF. CGF. Okay. We can name a major arc into three points. C, G, F. And if we have here, let's say, another point, which is this G, and another point here, let's say H. So it can also be named as C, H, F. That can still be a major arc. We have another illustration here. We have a diameter, which is AB, and a center, a circle M with center M. If A and B are endpoints of a diameter in circle M, then the two arcs, each of which is called a semicircle. So, a semicircle. The degree measure of a semicircle is 180 degrees. So if we're going to get the measure of R A B, that is equal to 180 degrees. That is a fixed degree, 180. Half of a circle. Because one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. The degree measure of a major R is equal to 360 minus the measure of the corresponding minor arc. If we're going to use our illustration 1 to find, in circle E, to find the measure of CGF, let's say R C G F, that is equal to 360 minus 
the minor R, our minor R is C F. Our measure of minor arc C F. To better understand the arc and the central angle, let's have these exercises. In our illustration number one, in circle R, measure angle ARB, ARB, our central angle, is equal to 42 degrees. And AC is a diameter. Find measure RAB. So the measure of RAB here, in our previous discussion, the measure of the minor arc is equal to the measure of the central angle. So our central angle is 42 degrees. Therefore, this is also 42 degrees. So the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of the minor arc. Intercepted minor arc. So 42, therefore this is also 42. Next. Measure arc ACB. Where is ACB? This is our major arc. We have a formula in our discussion. 360 minus the measure of arc AB, which is the minor arc. Now, 360 degrees minus, we have 42 now we have 360 degrees minus 42 degrees is 200, uh, 318 degrees. So this will be the measure of RACD. Next, find the measure of RCAB. C-A-B. A. C, A, B. Let us first label our given. If A, B is equal to 42 degrees, we're looking for C, A, B. We have a semicircle here. The measure of semicircle is 180. Now, we need to add 180 degrees plus the given 42 degrees. So add 180 plus 42, that is 200, 222 degrees. Again, we have a semicircle which is 180 plus we have the minor arc which is 42 degrees so we need to add 180 plus 42 222 degrees now let's have this one this is our illustration in circle P if segment SN and MT are diameters with measure angle SPT is equal to 51 degrees. Where, where is the angle SPT? SPT. This is 51 degrees. And measure angle NPR is equal to 29. NPR is equal to 29. Determine whether each or whether each arc is minor arc, a major arc, or semicircle. Then find the degree measure. NR. 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 So this is a minor arc. Number two. So let us find the measurement of measure of R and R that is given 
NPR which is 29 degrees. So equal to 29 degrees. Okay. Next, art ST. Where is ST? ST is still a minor R. The measure of ST is the measure of the central angle, which is 51 degrees. Next is R TSR. T S R. T S R. That is a major R. Major R. So to find the measure of the major R, we need to add, this is 180. This angle is equal to this angle. Because of the theorem, vertical angles are congruent. So 51. So we need to add TSR, 180 plus 51 plus 29. So 180 plus 51 plus 29. That will give us the measure of the R TSR. So 51 plus 29, that is 80 plus 180, that is 260 degrees. 260 degrees. Next. MST or is M S T MST that is a semi circle or semi circle which measures 180 degrees. This is constant 180 degrees. A fixed value which is 180. To apply the definition of our central angles and arcs. Let's have the following exercises. So we have A, solve for X. We have this illustration and the given. And for B, solve for X. And for letter C, this will be the illustration. Let's start with letter A. So let, let us recall the different principles that we are going to use. The arc. The minor R is equal to our central angle. So here, by vertical angle, this angle is equal to this angle. So that means negative 10x plus 5, that is equal to 45. So we're looking for the value for x. Now we have negative 10x is equal to 45 positive 5 move to the right that will become negative 5 or addition property of equality so negative 10x is equal to 45 minus 5 which is 4t then to find x we need to divide by negative 10 cancel x is equal to 40 divided by negative 10, this will give us negative 4. Okay, so the value of x is negative 4. If you want to check, substitute the value of x. So negative 10 times negative 4, negative times negative, that is positive. Positive 40 plus 5, which is equal to 45. So, in checking, our value for x is correct. Now in letter B, solve for x. So we have the following arcs. This arc measures 50 degrees. This one is 110 degrees. We have here the central angle, which is 95. The arc here measures also 95 degrees. And we have here the central angle, again, negative 10x. So this R 
is equal to negative 10x also and the last given which is 55 degrees so the principle here that we're going to use is all the given arcs in a circle or all the arcs in our circle are given we know that one revolution is equal to 360 degrees so one revolution is equal to 360 degrees that means if we're going to add the given arcs that will be equal to 360 degrees so negative 10x plus 95 plus 110 plus 50 plus 55 that is equal to 360 degrees okay one revolution is equal to 360 degrees now we have negative 10x so add the following numbers so 95 plus 110 that is 200 205 plus 50 255 plus 55 that is 310 again so 95 plus 55 that is 150 plus 50 200 plus 110 310 is equal to 360 now addition property of equality 360 addition property of equality that will become negative 310 Negative 10x is equal to 360 minus 310, that is 50. Divide both side by 10, or negative 10. So our x is equal to 50 divided by negative 10, that is negative 5. So the value of x here is negative 5. So if we're going to substitute, this arc measures negative 10 times negative 5 positive 50 so let us check uh, 95 plus 55 that is 150 plus 50 so this is 200 200 plus 50 250 plus 110 360 so correct x is equal to negative 5 and for our last letter C find the measure angle XTY so where is XTY okay this will be T XTY XTY this angle or our central angle XTY so measure okay before Before we can get the value of x ty, angle x ty, let us first find the value for x. So we know that center angle, this one is equal to its minor arc. So 50x is equal to 49x plus 1. This arc is equal to this arc. Now, 50x minus 49x is equal to 1 so 50x minus 49 that is x is equal to 1 since we have a value for x now let us just substitute in our minor arc so the measure of angle x ty is equal to 49 times 1 that is 49 plus 1 50 degrees okay the measure of angle x t y is 50 degrees so that is the application of our central angle and arcs thank you for watching senior pablo tv see you in our next lesson the inscribed angles